Welcome back. You're watching again live. As per norm around this time, we appreciate some of the buildings around us through someone's eyes. Now, this week, architect uh, Robert Sherman chose the Everard Red Reed Gallery for its hidden beautiful elements. The gallery that we're in now is, was done in the early 80s, and it was an addition to a, a house that was built in the 1920s. So that's the, the origins of the gallery. I believe it was in town many years ago before that. But I think it is, it's really cut off from the, the road a bit. It does play this, the line, the sinuous line down the street, so there is that interaction on the pavement, but the building really sits behind that. You don't really get a glimpse into the building from, from the street. The, the quality of space, the quality of light, for me it becomes a retreat within, within the city and I really enjoy the way the building opens up to the inside or to the outside and um, that relationship between the two. It feels very, very intimate the whole time you're here and I think it allows you to, I mean the purpose of you being here is to look at art and to admire art and to spend some time with it so by breaking the building up into those little parts you get to appreciate each piece for, for what it's worth. I think the, the curvy bit behind you is, is more the movement route of the building so I think it, it lends itself to that idea of people walking, walking by and the, the galleries it's themselves are, are the actual boxy type, type rooms and I mean, even now, the wall, I mean, it is a passage, but it has been used for, for art in this particular exhibition that's on at the, at the moment. And I think it's the use of courtyards, which I think is an underutilized mechanism, in, especially in our climate. And the, the quality of light for me is, is really good, and it differs from room, room to room. And it, even on a gloomy day like this, the, the spaces are beautifully lit, and you can actually view the artwork more or less without artificial light. And I think there's a sort of strong connection in this building between the old versus the new, so connecting to the old 1920s building. There's a clear distinction between the two, but a respect for the, for the older building. And as you move through the building towards the lower end of the site, there's, you look across the road to the new Circa Gallery. So there's a, almost a continuation of that theme going from the past to the present and then looking towards the future of the gallery itself.